This is Gene Montrestelli, and welcome to the Tapping Q&A podcast, recorded live to tape from Williamsburg in Brooklyn. This is episode 500, originally aired February 24th, 2021. Everyone, I hope this finds you well wherever you are and whatever time of day you're getting a chance to listen to this. Thanks for spending a little time with me today. Today, we are going to talk about and do a little tapping on professional jealousy and how insidious that can be. But before we do that, first, I'd like to remind you that we have a free 10-part guide on how you can use tapping to eliminate self-sabotage. All you need to do is go to tappingqa.com, click on that big blue button. If you happen to be listening to this right now in the website, if you go to that upper right-hand corner, click on the blue button, I will send you a free guide that will help you to eliminate self-sabotage every single day for the next 10 days. I will send you a new tool, a new technique, some Something that is easy to implement, which makes taking action so much easier. Number two, I want to thank all of the supporters of the Tapping Q&A podcast. This week, I'd like to thank Claire in a very special way. Claire is the most recent supporter of the podcast. Podcast supporters get lots of amazing bonuses. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I actually shared with the podcast supporters the book that never was, the book that I wrote that did not get published for a lot of complicated reasons, but it's something I'm really proud of that I was able to share with them. If you'd like to become a supporter of the podcast, so you know this good work will continue, receive regular bonuses as well as special little bonuses like that. All you need to do is go to tappingqa.com slash support. And once again, I want to thank all of the supporters of the podcast. Today, as I was sitting down to record the podcast, I was going to have a conversation about the difference between evaluation and judgment and how corrosive judgment can be and how useful evaluation can be. Because it's a topic that has been coming up a great deal in my client work. And I did a quick search of the archive and I realized that I've already covered that topic. So if you're interested in, or if you're in a situation where you're really struggling with feeling judged that the work that you were doing or the person that you are is not appreciated, I'd really encourage you to go back and check out episode 446. And if you go to tappingqa.com slash 446, you will be able to get to that episode. I will also include a link in the show notes. So it's easy right inside of the app that you you can go listen to that right now. So after realizing that the topic that I thought I was going to cover was covered recently, I went into my tapping journal. Um, I tap most mornings and I take about 10 minutes to tap. And some mornings I have a topic and some mornings I don't, but I always journal about what I am tapping on. And as I was looking back through the topics that I've tapped on over the course of the last six months, I was surprised, and I wasn't surprised, at the number of times that tapping for professional jealousy had come up, which is a really interesting thing, because my business, the work that I'm doing, the people I'm getting to work with, the things I'm creating, the people I get to joint venture with, is going better than it ever has at any point in my entire life. Uh, I'm creating work that I'm really proud of. I love my clients. I'm being profitable in a way that I hadn't been before. And it's really interesting that there are moments of professional jealousy. And what's even more interesting is some of the people I have been jealous of over the course of the last six months are people who are less successful than me. And I'm jealous of an individual opportunity they get, a platform that they get to stand on, what their social media presence looks like. And the thing that is so hard for me around professional jealousy is how corrosive it is. Because when I feel a sense of professional jealousy, where I feel like the world is unfair and other people are getting better opportunities than me, which is a ridiculous thought for someone with my ethnic background, with my upbringing, with my education to ever think that that is the case. But to be in a circumstance where when you feel something is unjust, it becomes super demotivating Because if the system is not just, if the opportunities do not feel fair, if I feel like what is just to me is not coming to me because of something outside of my control, then on a subconscious and sometimes a conscious level, I just don't want to take action. 
Because if the system isn't fair, or I don't think I'm getting what I deserve, whatever that means, then why would I try? Because it's hopeless. It's fruitless. The system isn't going to work out for us. And so it's really important and it's really useful. And one of the things that I also have started doing when I tap is I write down the topic that I'm going to tap for if there's a topic. And then after that, I then write down all of the tasks I want to take that come up while I'm tapping. Because oftentimes when I'm tapping on something, inspiration comes to mind for action I want to take, places, things that I want to do, and that sort of stuff. And every single time... I have cleared this sense of professional jealousy. Even if I don't clear it all of the way, I immediately go, oh, yes, I could do that. Oh, yes, I could do that. Oh, yes, I could do that. And I add a bunch of really awesome to-dos to my to-do list because as I clear that professional jealousy, what I'm doing is I'm, as it goes away, I'm clearing the way to see opportunity again when that sense of professional jealousy was undermining that particular sense. So today, what I'd like to do is I'd like to do a little tapping on professional jealousy with you. And it doesn't have to be professional jealousy. This can be when you do not have the opportunities that the other people around you have, and you feel like it is unfair, like you are not being recognized and seen for your goodness, where other people are having a light shined upon them. So tap on the side of the hand, take a nice big deep breath, and just move from point to point. I want to be more successful. I want to have more opportunity. I want to share my gifts with the world. And I'm working hard to do exactly that. But at the exact same time, I see what others are doing. I see the actions they are taking. I see the attention they are getting. And I want that too. I want more opportunities. I want more recognition. And that's a very human experience. But I recognize when I feel this sort of jealousy... It's very corrosive. It steals my motivation. It steals my hope. It steals my desire to move forward. Because if the world feels unfair, I don't want to try. Because it doesn't feel like it's going to work out. And even though other people have opportunity, even though other people have chances that I don't currently have, that doesn't mean we've run out of opportunities. It doesn't mean that there aren't enough chances for me. It 
I recognize the fact that it is possible for me to acknowledge what other people are doing without feeling like it is undermining me. To acknowledge what other people are thinking and to know that that is not a statement on the quality of my work. There is enough opportunity There are enough chances There are enough platforms for me to stand on I give myself permission to be easy with myself I give myself permission to trust my actions. I know that I can find the success that I want. Because there are more than enough opportunities for everyone. When other people are successful, they're actually creating more space for all of us to be successful. I give myself permission to have hope. I give myself permission to have confidence. I give myself permission to step forward in a thoughtful, deliberate way. Nice deep breath. For me, the best and most appropriate word for jealousy is corrosive. I mentioned a couple times today already. Just because it really does undermine us and it creates separation and it creates division and it diminishes our own hope. And so anytime we're feeling it, it is an emotion that we really need to step into in big and in small ways. So I hope you found this useful. If you're still struggling with that sense of jealousy, give yourself permission to go back, re-listen to this, tap on this again. It is is a gross, corrosive emotion, but it's important that we get really clear in the way that we transform it so that action becomes easier to do. Like I said, whenever I tap on a sense of jealousy, professional or otherwise, before the instant I'm done, I am ready to go take new action and put myself out there in new ways. If you found this tap along and this audio useful, I'd really encourage you to, to pass it along and share it with a friend. Don't spam your inbox and send it to everybody in the world. But if there are one or two people you know who have mentioned things recently that make it hard for them to be present in the world in the way that they would like to be, pass this along. And again, even if they don't listen to it, the fact that you send them a note saying, hey, I'm thinking of you today, I want better for you, that is going to make a difference in their day, which is good for all of us. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the show in podcasting parlance. Subscribe is always free. You can find the show on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Spotify, Amazon Music, Audible, basically everywhere you find audio. All you need to do is search tapping Q&A. If you have a question, a comment, or a topic you'd like us to cover in the future, I can always be reached, Gene, G-E-N-E, at tappingqa.com. I actually received two really awesome recommendations over the course of the last week for possible guests who I can't wait to reach out to because they were so useful. If you have one of those ideas, please let me know. For the Tapping Q&A podcast, this is Gene Montrostelli. I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. 
The Tapping Q&A podcast is copyright Gene Monterostelli Tapping Q&A. All views expressed by guests are those of the guests and not necessarily of Gene Monterostelli and Tapping Q&A.